Along the Smith's Fork River in far western Wyoming lives a fish species a lot of anglers have heard of, but a lot of other anglers aren't so familiar with. Mountain whitefish, common in waters west of the Continental Divide, isn't usually thought of as a sport fish in these waters where Bonneville cutthroat and brown trout are also found. So in some ways it's kind of the forgotten sport fish. On this day, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department is conducting an electrofishing survey of a section of the Smith's Fork near Cokeville. Fisheries biologist Gordon Edwards. What we're trying to do is, is just learn how, to, how we should sample these fish so that we can keep track of their numbers. Um, most of our whitefish populations in Wyoming are, are, are pretty healthy as far as we know uh, because they're seemingly pretty abundant, but we've never really tried to keep track of their numbers. Um, but in other states, in Montana in particular, in the Madison River, they've seen some declines and they're not sure why. So they're starting to study it and uh, we feel like we should know what we've got and how many and uh, hopefully um, we can keep track of the numbers and, and know if something starts to happen here too. Mountain whitefish are actually considered a species of greatest conservation need, mainly because there's little data on them in Wyoming and in part because of the concerns in other western states. Wyoming's numbers, as Edwards mentioned, seem to be abundant. A lot of times people uh, fish for whitefish in the wintertime. Um, they're really, really fun to catch on nymphs. They fight really hard. Um, people do eat them by smoking them. Uh, they are pretty bony, so they're not really good to, to uh, bake or fry or anything like that. But, um, you know, some anglers, they're going for trout and they get the white fish and they're kind of bummed, but sometimes it can really save a trip if, if the trout aren't biting all that well. Presently, the limit on mountain whitefish is 25, but starting next year, the limit goes to six per day or in possession. The average adult reaches between 10 to 12 inches in length. They typically prefer colder waters and can be found in many mountain lakes. Right now, they're in spawning mode. The most important bit of information to be gathered here is population estimates. Those numbers will be compared to data gathered here in the future to determine if other management strategies are needed. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.